Welcome back people, we got some more Planet Coaster for you guys here again today. So, we are finishing off where we left off last. Uh, we showed all the DLCs, and Big Man has been busy building. We spent, I don't even know how many hours last night. <laughs> many, many, many hours last night, and then we've been playing again. So we've been playing for that day, and then now we're on to the next day, and we he's been building again, so... Yeah, he's spent a long time doing this. Just to mention, any time I do live streams, I always use face cam and mic any time I make videos like this. I just use the mic and just randomly hit record, and they always turn out to be the best videos I've ever done. So, at the minute, he's just going on a track, around a track, just testing out this one. He's just put this one down. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new, if you're enjoying Planet Coaster. Don't forget to drop a like as well. We also do show a lot of other games and... Every now and again, when new games come out, we like to try and show new games. So that way, there's lots of different new content on the channel. So, as well as Planet Coaster, if you're interested in seeing other new games that come out, again, that's a good reason to subscribe. And when you hit the notification bell, make sure it says all, so you don't miss out on updates on certain games that we play. And as well as that, new games as well. So this is what he's built, as you can see. There is quite a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, guessing I'd say he's put more than 6 hours, definitely 110% he's put more than 6 hours into this. So he's got to make an, ent an entry part and an exit part for the ride, which is what you have to do with all the rides. You have to make an entry point and an exit point. He's got some big rides there, some roller coasters and he's been putting down little things as well like lights little lamp posts and being put in around trees and stuff just to try and blend everything in it doesn't look like much i'm going to be honest it doesn't look like he's done much but believe me the amount of detail and the amount of things that he's done yeah it's definitely taken many 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 hours to do to create what he's created right now that's many hours he's put in so many different things as you can see there's some little street lights going around and lights on the rides as well, lighting up the rides. All of that is done. You can also put people around, generators and stuff and all that kind of stuff. He's done all of that. He's just going through showing you some of the different stuff that he's put in. <laughs> yeah, many, many, this is many hours later. As I said, this is even going on to the next day. So he spent a long time doing this. And then adding little things like... Um, toilets and little food stalls trees around dustbins around that kind of thing yeah there's lots of things that he's added so through this one he's just going to be doing the same thing as what we've been doing for the last i'm going to guess around about 10 hours plus i reckon i reckon it's going to be at least 10 hours at least So yeah, for the last 10 hours, maybe more than that, I don't even know at this point. It's been so long. What time did we, did we start yesterday? About 4, wasn't it? Yeah, maybe it was just before 4pm. And we turned off at 12 o'clock at night. So so that's about 8 hours there. We're playing it again the next day now. We're on the next day in real time. So, <laughs> so yeah, it probably is, probably is more than 10 hours plus that he's put into this. There's so many different rides to choose and there's so many different things that you can change and you can add into it. And the good thing is, you can make it exactly how you want it to look. Yeah, so many different tracks. They're the special rides. These are the water rides. <laughs> yeah, you have to build them up from, from scratch. So they definitely do take a, um, yeah, electric powered chairlift, yeah. Whoa, yeah, that's quite a big one. Yeah. So this is what we are going to do as well, we're also going to make a video at some point of um him making one 
him making a theme park by being in the snow and he's going to make it really Christmassy. He's going to try and put snowmen around and yeah, just basically make it Christmassy. So he's going to do that at some point. Yeah, that fit there, yeah. Go kart, yeah. The controls are a little bit funny sometimes. So you, when you move things, you gotta you gotta move it slowly. Yeah, that fits perfect. Nice. Yep. <coughs> Yeah, you forgot to open it. There you go. And now it's open. Yeah. So after you place the track, you can test it. And you can ride around on the track, which is pretty cool. But then you got to make sure that you actually open the track as well. So that way people are actually able to go onto the ride and, and play it. So you can test it. There we go. <laughs> it's nice that you can build as well as building the track i like that you can go you can actually play play the actual games on the on the actual on the actual game as well like this doing this little racing cars and then going on different roller coasters and stuff it's pretty cool that you can do that i really like that whoa so he brought the DLC as well, as I said, we did the video, we showed that video before this one, which was um, all the DLCs, it only cost him £10, he bought the Deluxe Edition that gave him all the DLCs for the game. For £10 upgrade for this game, I definitely reckon it is worth it, you get quite a lot with the DLC, it actually does give you a lot of options to download, uh, download to, <laughs> to give you a lot of different rides and stuff like that, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, when you open the track, you've got to make sure there's a path um, for people to get on. And you've got to make sure there's a path for people to get off. And then once you've done that, you can then open up the track and then people can then use it. <clears throat> it does take a little bit of time to get used to the game. Because there's so many different buttons and so many things that you can do. But, <clears throat> lost my voice. But yeah, the... The more time you put into it, you'll, you'll get used to it over time. I tried playing it myself on PC, and I was just really bad at it. I, yeah, I was terrible. <laughs> but Big Man is now playing this on console, and he's he's doing a good way. Well, definitely doing a better job of it than what I was. So there you go. He's placed the entrance and the exit. Now he's got to make the ride open. He's just having a look at it, making sure it looks good. <clears throat> yeah, it looks pretty cool, man. So then you go along to the green, and then it says open. There we go. So now people can now go on to that ride. Yeah, I'm quite looking forward to the when he does the one out in the snow. There's all different maps that you can build your your theme parks. There's a desert, there's a snow one, there's this one which is kind of like a, just a basic one. I can't, I can't remember all of the names of them, but basically you can build theme parks in different places. So, yeah, the next one, after he's done this one, the next one is definitely going to be in the snow. Which, I'm probably, we're probably going to make a recording on that later on today. But first, we, yeah, we wanted to show a little bit more of this one first. Oh, some ice cream, yeah, we've got to have an ice cream shop for sure. <laughs> Who don't like ice cream? There's actually some people who are allergic to ice cream. My, funny enough, one of my kids, um, they're not really good with ice cream. It makes them sick all the time. But that's okay, because I can eat it for them. <laughs> some more toilets. Yeah. Yeah, you've already got some toilets placed, but you're gonna, it's a thing park, so you're going to need a lot of toilets around anyway. You don't just want that one toilet all filled up. Fortress toilets. Yeah, 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, first aid, you never know. So as well as all the big rides, he's showing you, basically, you, you, obviously, there is a lot of other little small shops as, as well, which those you've got to place down, because they're just the things that you're going to need in a theme park anyway. You're obviously going to need food stores and toilets. A first aid place is always a good thing. You never know if someone falls over or something happens and they need a medic there. An ATM machine. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone needs that. You take money out for sure. <laughs> Nice ATM. These little added details that you can add into the game, that's what makes the game so great. Is that there's so many things you can add. Like different statues, lights, ATM machines, and the, the list goes on. There's so many. There you go. So you can put some street light lights down to light the place up a little bit. So what I mean with the controls is you got you gotta you gotta move very slowly because sometimes sometimes it, it's quite sensitive on the controller. Might be a bit different on PC, but on the controller, yeah, it's a little bit sensitive. We're playing on PS4. This game is also available on PC as well as that, also on Xbox as well. So just to mention that in case anyone is interested, <clears throat> there's all the people coming in. It's getting busy. If you wanted to see us from the very beginning, um, the video that we did, it was called Planet Coaster All DLCs. That was the first, <clears throat> well actually that wasn't the very first, the very first video we did of this was New Planet Coaster First Look. That was just us showing you, he already built up a theme park before this one. And we were just showing what he already built. But this one, in the process of building this one, just because otherwise we would have been recording for more than 10 hours. Yeah, that's quite a long video. I don't think people would want to watch 10 hours of building. Maybe some might, some wouldn't. But um, yeah, so the one that we're building now in this process, the video that we started was called Planet Coaster All DLCs. So we showed all the DLCs and we started building this new park. And from building this new park, we built it up from there. And we started building some in the other video. And then this one is obviously showing you what he's done within around about 10 hours-ish. And it doesn't look like he's done much. But honestly, the amount of different things you can add, it really is um, quite time-consuming. Yeah, like security cameras and lights and dustbins, ATM machines, different statues. There's so many different things that you can put into the game. It really does take a short minute. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, camera in the shop, nice. This is definitely a game that is... You're not going to be in a rush to complete this. It's going to, yeah, if you've got a lot of spare time, or even if you haven't got a lot of spare time, just playing this a few hours each day, every day, it's going to take a, it's, it's definitely going to take a short minute to build up to get to the point where you have something really fancy, but it can be done. And the good thing is, because you don't do it so fast, it's going to keep you busy for a long time. And there's loads of different places, as, as I mentioned, like, the desert and a snow place and there's loads of other places where you can build your theme park so that's also going to keep you kind of busy because once you've built one and you've completed it you can then move to another place and start building there every place is different 
So obviously the surroundings are going to look different. I'm definitely looking forward to the one that he's going to be doing in the snow. Again, with that video, when he does the one of the snow, we'll, that them videos are probably going to make them go on a little bit longer. <clears throat> Maybe like 30 minutes, 30 minutes kind of each video. One him building it up in the snow to start off with, and then more as he progresses through, we'll um, do like a, another part of it. Because the the snow one's gonna look really good. We're gonna because Christmas is close. We're in November, fourteenth of November. Yeah, because Christmas is close, we're gonna we're gonna make one really Christmassy. By the time this one releases, it's probably gonna be the fifteenth, the day after, because I'm gonna have to edit this one and get it uploaded. <clears throat> so it's gonna take a short minute, but keep an eye out for more Planet Coaster for sure. Don't worry, we are still going to be live streaming our other games using face cam and mic. <clears throat> but every now and again, it's nice just to put some new content there. So you guys are not watching the same thing all the time. If I keep putting out the same thing, I feel like that's not, it's not very entertaining. Some people are happy for me to always play the same game and nothing else. But I like to try and show as many new games as I can. There's going to be another new game coming soon as well that we're going to be having on the channel. So... We've had some Watch Dogs Legends. That was a great game. We did a stream on that with Facecam and Mike. And then, yeah, all, obviously all the streams are Facecam and Mike. But we did Watch Dogs Legends. And then we did, what else did we do? We did Dirt 5. Yeah, we did Dirt 5 when that released. Um, we're now doing this one, Planet Coaster. And then we got another new one coming again soon. As I said, I don't want to, I don't want to, give that away yet I don't want to say exactly what because I like to try and keep it as a, a surprise so it gives you guys something forward to look something to look forward to look at the size of that place it really doesn't look like there's much there honestly it doesn't but <laughs> you'll know if you play the game yourself you'll know there's definitely many hours that go into it he also started um for some of the rides he made the rides where the ground comes over the ride so you go through like a little tunnel thing that looks really cool as well he done that so you can so you can raise the ground lower the ground you can put some water around and stuff like that as well But some of these rides have some great detail to them. Sometimes the hardest part can be trying to place an entrance and an exit point. Sometimes that can be the hardest point. Because you can't always get the entrance exactly where you need it to be. Like there, it lit up red, even though he was right near the path. There you go, there's the entrance. And then an exit, and then you can either test it, or you can just go and open it straight away. <laughs> it looks really good. There you go, he's opened the ride. Now people can now go on that ride. Yeah. Yeah, that waterlogged one, that looks really good. So he built that. That's like he built ground going over some of the tracks. So you go through a tunnel and he done it on this one as well. Right, so he's going to show you. He's going to show you what he did. He put some stuff around so it makes it look cool when you're on the ride so you can see different stuff. But he also done it so it goes underground. You'll see that in a minute. I really like that you can ride, go on the rides, man. Really good little feature that you can do that. Yeah, that water looks really good as you come around. That water looked really good as you came round there. 
<clears throat> this is the part that he built to go under under the ground bit there. <laughs> and then all the trees and stuff, all the stuff in the water, all of that stuff he added himself. So as you can imagine, it definitely did take a short minute. Now you don't have to build it the same way as he's as his his building or the way he's done it. You don't have to do it the same way as what he's done. He's just he's just done a lot of different things just to show you different stuff that you can do. So this was in the one where we showed all the DLCs. This was the first ride that he put down was this one. Which is a log water ride. Yeah, this is the first one that he did. So obviously, since he's put it down, he's added some changes into it. Put some stuff around, and then he made made kind of the same thing. He made the ground higher, so that way you kind of go through like a little tunnel. Which is, I quite, I quite like that you can do that. That's really good. And the water effect on this game does look pretty decent. You can also change as well. I, I did mention it in the other videos, but I haven't mentioned it in this one. You can also change it from daytime to nighttime, and obviously from nighttime to daytime. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely takes a short minute to get everything built up, but once it's all built up, it does look really good. Obviously, in the daytime, it, you can see things a lot clearer, but he wanted to do it in the, show you in the night, just because in the night time, all the rides are lit up and there's all lights around, and it, it really does stand out. It does look really good. Okay, so once he goes up here and he goes round, that's the part where it's going to take you... To the bit that he built to take it underground. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever been on one of these log log water rides? Like in real life, have you ever? You have, I have as well. Yeah. You get absolutely wet through, but they're good fun though. Okay, so I think this is the part where it takes you through the little bit that he built. Yeah, okay, so this is what he built here. It goes above. <laughs> he puts his hands up. That's cool. Yeah. Looks really good in the in the night, man. Everything lighting up like that roller coaster over there with all the lights on it as well. That looks really good. Yeah, that's definitely a big roller coaster. That one. Yeah, they they can break down as well. This one's broken down. When they break down, you can get an engineer in to come in. And they repair it. Many guests are thirsty. So he needs to put some more drink stores down. Yeah, you got a you got a lot of drink stores as well, yeah. But yet they're still thirsty. Yeah. Yeah, they're all drinks. <clears throat> it's good that it gives you tips like that, because it means you know you can put more down because you know you need to. So it's good that it does give you a tip like that. Hotel. <laughs> Have some meal shakes.
and a slushy. Pip shot juice. Yeah, it's good that it always gives tips above. Some more toilets. Yeah. So just to mention, Big Man is playing, and I'm actually spectating him through share play. If you don't know who Big Man is, you must be new to the channel. He's a family member of ours. He doesn't have YouTube himself, but he helps out a lot with my channel he lets me know when new games come out and as well as that sometimes I'll buy new games and I show those and sometimes he buys new games and we show them as well so that's how we always manage to always show you guys different new games that come out I don't have the money to buy every new game that comes out as much as I'd like to I don't so it's kind of handy because sometimes I buy the game and I play it and if he likes it he'll end up buying it or the other way around he'll buy a game here, show it on the channel, and if you guys like it and I like it, and then I end up buying it, and then we play some games as multiplayer. This game, unfortunately, is only single player, which is a shame because it would be pretty cool if it was multiplayer, and you could both build something together. That would be awesome, but yeah, unfortunately, it is only single player. But even though it's only single players, I do actually quite like this game. I did have it for the PC. I just couldn't get the hang of it. <laughs> yeah, I saw that sign there. I didn't, that, that, uh, I didn't manage to read all of it. it. Said something about the guests wouldn't be happy. Oh, you got a big wheel. Alright, so I think I'm going to end the video there. We've been going now for like 28 minutes. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Keep an eye out because we're going to do, as I said, we're going to make one in the snow. And we're going to make it very Christmassy. And um, yeah, we're going to, the one in the snow, them videos probably are going to go on a little bit longer. Just so that way you can see us building even more stuff. Don't worry, we are still going to be live streaming our normal game and uploading videos of that. But alright man, go for it. But every now and again, we do like to try and show some new new content. And obviously, this being a new game, that's why we're showing it. So thank you, big man, for allowing us to share play this and show, show people this game. Thank you, man. <laughs> yeah, so don't forget to subscribe, turn notifications on. Drop a like if you did like this one. Planet Coaster on PS4 Console Edition. Uh... Yeah, so keep an eye out for more of this to come. And as well as that, obviously, we've got some other new games coming to the channel very, very soon. Many guests are thirsty. You already put a few shops down, but I think he's got to spread them out a little bit more. Anyway, yeah, we catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I'm out.